we have already seen the separation techniques for a solid liquid mixture when it was homogeneous and heterogeneous now let's look at a liquid liquid mixture again a liquid liquid mixture can be homogeneous or heterogeneous let's start with a heterogeneous mixture of two liquids so when we have oil dissolved in water we know it's a heterogeneous mixture why is this a heterogeneous mixture because as we observe we see different proportions of oil and water in different parts since there is not a uniform composition throughout so this is a heterogeneous mixture and when two liquids do not completely dissolve in one another we call such liquids immiscible immiscible liquids means that the two liquids do not completely mix with each other so such mixtures or such liquids when they do not completely mix with each other they are immiscible liquids and they form a heterogeneous mixture and for these we use a special apparatus which is known as a separating funnel this apparatus here is a separating funnel let's see how this works in this separating funnel we'll add the two liquids the two immiscible liquids so we first add water then we add oil it is advised to shake the contents before we leave it undisturbed for some time so as it is left undisturbed the two liquids form a clear distinction between them so in this case the heavier liquid settles at the bottom and the lighter liquid floats on the top so there is a small knob with a small hole so we can open the knob to separate the two liquids first the denser liquid or the heavier liquid in this case water we first separate water and then the lighter liquid which is floating on the top so by opening the knob again we can separate the lighter liquid so when we have two liquids which are immiscible that is they do not completely mix with each other they form a heterogeneous solution so for such mixtures we use a separating funnel a separating funnel marks a clear distinction between the heavier and the lighter liquid so in this case the heavier liquid water is separated and then we separate out the clear liquid which is floating on the top in this case oil so we can separate a heterogeneous mixture of two liquids but now what happens if we have a homogeneous mixture now this is tricky this means we have two liquids which completely dissolve with one another in this case what happens if we have two colorless liquids we cannot even distinguish between the two we cannot mark a distinction between the two colorless liquids so how do we separate them for these mixtures that is for a homogeneous mixture of two liquids we use a technique that we have already used before when we have a homogeneous mixture of a solid dissolved in a liquid we use distillation we heat the contents the liquid it changes into the gaseous form in the cooling jacket it condenses and we can collect it in the beaker now we have two liquids which completely mix with each other say we have a liquid a with a boiling point 30 degree celsius and we have a liquid b with a boiling point 80 degree celsius so these two liquids a completely miscible now we know the boiling point is the temperature at which a liquid changes into the gaseous form so as we heat this mixture the liquid with a lower boiling point it first changes into the gaseous state condenses in the cooling jacket and we can collect it in the empty beaker and in the round bottom flask we are left with the liquid with a higher boiling point 
So observe how this process takes place. So as we heat the contents, the liquid with the lower boiling point changes into the gaseous state, condenses and is collected in the empty beaker. So this is the process of distillation in which we heat the contents, that is we heat the miscible solution. Now, for example, we have two liquids as we say acetone and water. We see that the difference of boiling point is very large. The boiling point of acetone is 50.5 degrees Celsius and that of water is 100 degrees Celsius. So we can use the process of distillation. Distillation process is used when the difference of boiling point between the two liquids is more than 30 degrees Celsius. But what happens if the difference is less than 30 degrees Celsius? For example, alcohol and water. The boiling point of alcohol is 78.5 and that of water is 100 degrees Celsius. In this case, you see that the difference in boiling point is less than 30 degrees Celsius. So in these liquids, we cannot use the process of distillation. We use a slight modification of this process, that is, we use fractional distillation. Fractional distillation, it involves a fractionating column. In this case, we invert a fractionating column on the round bottom flask. This fractionating column consists of these separating units. Let's see how this works. So as we heat the contents, the liquid with the lower boiling point changes into the gaseous form, condenses and is collected. But at times, the liquid with the higher boiling point, in this case water, this also changes into the gaseous form. But as it strikes these, con these separating units, it condenses back and falls in the beaker. So in this process, by using a fractionating column, we prevent the liquid with the higher boiling point to distill in this beaker. So in this case, we had two liquids. That is alcohol with a boiling point of 78.5 degrees Celsius and water with a boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius. So you see that the boiling point difference is less than 30 degrees Celsius. So what happens? First of all, as we heat alcohol with a lower boiling point, it changes into the gaseous form, is condensed in the cooling jacket and we collect it in the beaker. But since the boiling point difference is very small, so at times water, it also changes into the gaseous state. As it changes into the gaseous state, these separating units, they help in the condensation of the vapors of water. As they strike these separating units, it condenses and falls back into the beaker. So when the difference in boiling point is less than 30 degrees Celsius, we use fractional distillation instead of distillation. Now, carbon tetrachloride and water, they form an immiscible mixture. That is, the two of them are not completely soluble in each other. So which technique do we use to separate these two? We know that when two liquids are immiscible, they form a heterogeneous mixture. For example, oil and water. So in this case, we have carbon tetrachloride and water. So they form an immiscible solution. So they form a heterogeneous mixture. When we have a heterogeneous mixture, we use an apparatus known as separating funnel. In this separating funnel, as we add the two as we add the two liquids, we leave it undisturbed for some time. The heavier liquid settles at the bottom and the lighter liquid floats on the top. And by opening the knob, we can separate the two liquids. So when we have two immiscible liquids, we separate them using a separating funnel. So let's revise what we've studied so far. We have a liquid-liquid mixture which can be homogeneous or heterogeneous. When we have a homogeneous mixture, we can separate the two liquids using distillation or fractional distillation. We use distillation when the boiling point difference 
is greater than 30 degrees Celsius and we use fractional distillation when the boiling point difference is less than 30 degrees Celsius. And in case we have a heterogeneous mixture, we use a separating funnel. The separating funnel marks a clear distinction between the heavier and the lighter liquid and hence we can separate the two. So this is how we use the different separation techniques for a liquid-liquid mixture.